What's up everybody, Zach here with Throttle Addiction. If you guys have been following along, you probably recognize this bike. This is our 2001 Sportster Chopper that we built in the shop here uh, using tons of Throttle Addiction parts. We've got our hardtail kit here, of course, and we're gonna run through kind of top to bottom, talk about all the little parts that we have on here, um, get you guys some part numbers, uh, get you guys links so that you, know, you can use this thing for inspiration. Um, the good thing is, 90% of the stuff is available at throttleaddiction.com. Grab it, use it for your own bikes. First and foremost, of course, we are using the Throttle Addiction Weld on Hardtail Kit. So hopefully by now, all you guys who've been following along are well aware of our Hardtail Kit. 100% made in the USA. We make it right here in the shop, top to bottom. Really proud of this thing. This started out as a stock Sportster. And we take it and you cut the frame and we weld on this rear hardtail section. Um, the kit comes with the oil tank, the hardtail, the five inch fender, the sissy bar, and this seat. So all these parts here in the back come in that hardtail kit. So it gives you a really good start and a really great foundation to build a cool chopper. As far as the seats go, you can kind of choose options. We have a Cobra, we got the King and Queen, we have a Solo. Once we started with that foundation, then we started just uh, stripping things down and putting all sorts of other cool parts on here. Um, a lot of them are simple, just bolt-on parts that you can get. Our exhaust here, we're using some Paco Upswept Sportster exhaust. This is available on our website. Paco product, a lot of you guys are familiar with them, so that's 100% made in the United States as well. Again, the sissy bar comes with the kit, but uh, we chose to just powder coat this black. Come to the back here on the lights. This one we did get a little tricky. This isn't kind of the, the stock application. What we did here is took our seat. This has a, a back panel that, so you have a fully upholstered back. This is how the seat comes, but we popped that off and we actually ran the wires up through there and mounted this little Comet light, which is available on Throttle Addiction, um, on the back panel of our seat. So that, that's kind of a little custom application, but something you guys could look at doing because all of our King and Queen seats do come with this fully upholstered back something that kind of sets it off a little bit different than others on the market. We chose to use a belt with our kit. So if you go with the Throttle Addiction Hardtail Kit, you do need to use an extended belt because it does stretch the bike about two inches. Your other option is to go with a chain drive conversion. We just went with the belt. Um, we sell this uh, all ready to go. It does work. Now, it is a pretty tight clearance in there. Some people don't, don't like that if you want a little bit more leeway. Um, depending on what you're doing, if you want a fatter tire or something, just switch over to a chain conversion kit. But we just uh, like the belt keeps it a little cleaner and less oil. Although if you watched our video before, we didn't really succeed with not getting oil everywhere. <laughs> this is the narrow Sportster gas tank. 1027 is the skew on that. Very prominent part. We've been selling for a super long time since the beginning. So it's a Sportster tank, <clears throat> one piece top shell. It's narrowed about an inch down the middle. Super custom, cool look. Does have the petcock out, uh, or the bung, petcock bung rather, out in the back. So you use a lot of that fuel. Same thing with the gas cap mounted up high into the left. So you maximize your fuel capacity on this. It is about a 2.1 gallons in this gas tank. This petcock, this is not the most exciting product, but these little guys, quarter inch NPT petcock, we sell at Throttle Addiction. This is a USA made petcock. You guys probably see a lot of them around that have red handles on them, but uh, to our knowledge, we're the only ones that are getting them done with, uh, with black. So that's a pretty cool product. We are running the vintage Throttle Addiction Apes. These are a nine inch ape, really tight and narrow in there. Uh, so they kind of have that slant down that comes in really tight there. We did narrow them up a little bit in the grip area. For the controls, we went with the American Prime Manufacturing Classic hand controls. Super simple, clean little units, um, you know, no frills, very simple, pretty cool setup for, for a chopper. Of course, you could have ran the stock ones, but we just wanted to feature again a lot of the products that we sell. Down to the grips, these ones are starting to get a little dirty, but we got the Throttle Addiction um, Touring grips on here. These come in multiple different colors, but we went with the ivory. The risers, these are just built well, slimline risers, pretty standard, awesome part that's been out there. Uh, for a while. This is a Throttle Addiction bezel headlight. Comes in chrome or black. We went with the black. Has a high low beam. Nice little four and a half inch lens on there. So real small and tight. And this is just a stock 39 millimeter front end. We did shave our legs 
uh, cleaned those up there to get rid of the fender mounts. And then we also are using some fork extenders. So to make this sit kind of how we wanted it, a lot of guys will, you know, extend the net or extend your fork tubes. Um, you can get a little crazy if you're not changing the rake and start looking a little silly. Generally, guys like to stay between, you know, two to six inch over tubes. But if you want to, if you're cool on the lower end, like two inches, these little um, extenders work really well. Uh, they give you a little extra height and change the sit and stance just a touch. Super easy to install and a fraction of the cost to buy new fork tubes and way, way, way less work. So for stance wise, this is a stock 21 Harley rim. We are running the 16 inch solid um, wheel on the back from, from Harley. Our air cleaner, this is our max current air cleaner from Throttle Addiction. For our pegs, these are just some simple little bait style repop rubber pegs, pretty inexpensive. You can grab those at Throttle Addiction. We got a set of bolt on passenger pegs here for your rider. Uh, nothing fancy, just kind of little Anderson chopper style knockoff pegs. Again, also available at Throttle Addiction. We did top it off with a custom points cover. On the other side, the Derby cover. You know, we do all these in house. We do lots of this laser etching for the Derby and points covers. So we threw some of those on there. What you can't see, of course, is our all in one Sportster chopper wiring harness. That's by design because we got all these clean lines hidden. Um, but if you guys are having trouble <clears throat> dialing in your wiring for your chopper build, grab that. Super easy, cut to length, just an awesome kit for uh, making wiring up your bike really, really easy. And that does include the ignition switch. This is all just on a turn key uh, for your starter here. For the engine mount, this is a gas box product. We do sell these. Um, on the website and then this little choke relocate this is one of our products here um, a lot of people when they use a custom air cleaner you lose that mount for your choke and so they make there's a bunch on the market that mount this choke on the other side but we find that that tends to kink that cable a lot so we came up with just a simple little bolt on one throw it on the other side your choke cables in a really nice smooth location doesn't bind doesn't kink and wear out that housing any faster than it should be. Throttle Addiction Custom Match Derby cover here. We make these for pretty much every model of Harley. Um, get on there, you can do a custom one, design your own, whatever you guys wanna put on there. Send us your art, we'll laser it up. Our turnaround is super fast, usually within a week. So check those out. Uh, this little license plate, pretty cool tucked back in there. License plate product. Honestly, I don't know if that one's out yet, but it will be soon. And what would a chopper review be without firing it up and let you guys hear it? So let's let her rip. If you guys think you might be interested in doing something like this or think you got it in you, believe me, you do. We try our best here to make it super, super easy for you if it's your first time ever even owning a motorcycle or working on one. We think that this hardtail kit and all the pieces that we add along with it are the best kit on the market. We've got a really great YouTube catalog specifically on this bike build right here. You can find a video on front end cleanup where uh, we cleaned and shaved the, the lowers, installed these extenders, all that stuff. We've got, of course, the four-part build series where we tore this thing down and put it back together in a matter of 12 hours. There's four videos in depth. Each one's about 35 minutes, touches on a lot of little pieces that you might encounter along the way. Um, there's a video on wiring using the Throttle Addiction wiring kit for these bikes. I did a video on mounting a gas tank, how we go about putting a custom gas tank on a stock frame. We even have a video on these hand controls and clutch, clutch adjustment. And, uh, and then a great video when we finished it and we overfilled the oil tank and spilled oil all over ourselves. So if you want to see us be stupid, you can watch that too. Hit us up if you have any questions. Leave a comment, we'll respond to those. Call us, email us, we support the products we sell and we're here to get more choppers on the road and we want you to believe in yourself that you can build one.